Hey, how's it going? This is Roy from RateMyFuneral.com. That was Rate, by the way. Welcome to this, a quick tip for Cinema 4D. Not going to waffle on for four hours today. This is a short, sharp, snappy one, and hopefully really useful. Basically, today I needed, uh, for one of my projects, something to rotate for the entire duration of the timeline. So the easiest way to do that is to use a, a nice little bit of espresso. Um, it does have a couple of little drawbacks, but uh, we'll go over that at the end. But let's say you have a scene that's kind of, you know, your typical thing that you make, you know, a microwave with a head in it, um, and you need it to spin, then this is where this comes in really useful. Uh, if you're familiar with Expresso, then I apologize now because I'm going to be talking to you as if you're not. That way it covers everybody, so I hope you don't take offense. <laughs> If you do, so let's um, let's do some, a scene that's slightly more simple. Um, so we'll just create a new scene and use a cube, and this is what we're going to rotate. So in order to rotate it, we're going to use Expresso, as I said before. So you right-click on the cube, go to Cinema Tags, and choose Expresso. This will add a tag to your object, and it will give you this Expresso editor. So the cube is what we want to rotate, so let's start with that. So we'll click and drag it and put it into the Expresso editor. And then this is now our node representing our cube. So the blue side is information in, the red side is information out. That's kind of the easiest way to think about that. Um, what do we want to do with the cube? We want to rotate it. So we need to go into the coordinates and choose our rotation value. Now obviously you've got the, the three main ones here. If you're not completely sure, there's a really easy way to just to be sure um, as to which one you want to turn. If you go to the object coordinates tab and you can just move these, uh, move these parameters and you can see which way it's turning. So that's that way and that's going to be that way. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on the H value. That was H by the way. If you say H, you're wrong. Anyway, so the H value. I'll go back into my Expresso and uh, go to Coordinates and Rotation H. Brilliant. Okay, so that's now in there and ready. So the way we're going to animate this is using time. Because um, that's, the, that's the thing that's forever increasing in our scene. So that's what we're going to use. So if we go Expresso General and then Time, we add a Time node. Uh, we can't just go time into rotation, that doesn't really make sense. We need to do a multiplication. So what we say, what we want to say is whatever the time is, multiply it by a number. So we need to add a multiply. So if we go Expresso Calculate Math, and by default math is set to add. So we do multiply, and we say time in, uh, and the out is the rotation. Now we need it to multiply by something, so here we can set a constant, so Expresso General Constant. And what this is, this is our predefined number that we basically put in, which is the number that it's multiplying by. So essentially the higher this number, the faster it's going to rotate. Now the one bit we do have to remember here, uh, and this is a thing to do with cinema, if, I'm hoping I'm explaining this correctly, when this puts out um, the uh, the the value it's going to put it out as a degree and what the cube needs as the rotation is a, a radion radion I, I forget we'll find out in a second so basically we need to convert it so if we go to new node expresso and then I think it's calculate and degree here we have a, a, a degree converter so we can convert radians to degree radians that was it or degree to radians wasn't he in Mortal Kombat? Anyway, um, so that's what we need to make sure we set this to. Degrees to radians. And then we come out of our constant, convert it, and then go into our maths. And that's nice and simple. Now, our constant at the moment obviously is set to zero. So I'll just minimize this. So if we hit play, nothing happens. If we put this up to, to one, you'll see that now starts to rotate, obviously, ridiculously slowly. Let's just add some more frames. Uh, and basically now the higher this number, the faster it's going to rotate. And there it goes. Put that up really fast, it'll rotate really quickly. And so on and so forth. Now, that is all fantastic and wonderful. But there is a slight drawback that you do have to keep your eye on. And that is the fact that if you have a long scene with lots of different things going on, whenever you render out the entire sequence, 
the espresso is going to need cinema will ex, will calculate the espresso before each frame so what you'll get is you won't see it because this will render instantly but just down here for a second there you get the word preparing and if you've got a lot of this going on and you've gone into your output and you've set it to all frames um um, I don't know, uh, might work, but I doubt it. But if I say put 100,000 frames and say render all frames and then hit go, no, it still does it instantly. But basically where it's having to calculate all of those, it will just sit and say preparing at this point. Um, this is just something you've got to look at. It's a shame it didn't work in that test, but this computer is obviously a bit too fast. But just take my word for it, because it was the problem that I had with mine. And each frame ended up taking 45 seconds to prepare and then about seven seconds to render. So quite frustrating. And I ended up rendering out in chunks. Um, I'm sure there's probably an easy way. I think I found a plugin that does baking uh, the espresso, but then it changed some features for me, so it didn't really work. If I come across a better way to do that, I will let you know. If you know a better way, then feel free, put it in the comments. Uh, let me know, you know, I'll credit you if you let me know. It's cool. I like to learn, you know. So anyway, I don't want to waffle on too much, and that's the whole point of this being a quick tip. So that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you get some use out of that. Cool. Catch you later. Bye for now.